anyone can hear me. Sound spreads omnidirectionally. What's the meaning of omnidirectional? You turn on the TV in your living room, each family member hears the sound of the TV. You play music in your car, everybody in your car hears the music. That is omnidirectional. I'm sure you didn't notice this thing before because almost all type speakers you experience in your daily life are omnidirectional. You take it for granted. You think that is natural. Law speakers were invented 100 years ago, almost in the past 100 years. The omnidirectional user experience hasn't been changed too much. So what if I told you I have a special speaker that is directional, like a laser? The major difference between a regular speaker and a directional speaker, you may think about it, a light bulb versus a laser. Before, I really talk about the directional speaker. Let me show you the experience first, see if I can trigger your curiosity and interest. You hear that? I rotation, rotation. People at the back? Nice. You hear that? That's pretty interesting, right? My dream is to build a directional sound for our laptop. So that's not easy. I cannot directly put this speaker to our laptop. Obviously, that's too big. I have to find a smaller version. I have to build a smaller version. What if your laptop is directional? So you don't need to wear your headset or earbuds when you're on a Zoom call or you play video on public area. Only you can hear the sound, not anyone else. Think about it. That is how cool. But the question is, if it's possible and feasible to build a directional sound, for our laptop. In order to answer that question, let's look into the physics of sound first. What is the sound? When you turn on your loudspeaker, you see the vibration of the cooling. I'm sure you noticed that. The vibration of the surface of your speaker generates the oscillation of air density. That is the sound wave. Sound wave propagates from speaker to your ears. So you hear the sound. People usually use uh, this plot to describe sound. The valley of this plot means low air density. The peak of the plot means high air density. Frequency is a cycling in one second. Wavelength is the distance between two peaks. There's also a criteria to describe the directivity of our speaker. At low frequency, wavelength is larger than our speaker. That is omnidirectional. At a high frequency, wavelength is much smaller than our speaker. So you got directional sound. I stand here, talk to you. The wavelength of my voice is about one feet. It's about that length. It's much larger than my mouth, right? So you hear my voice omnidirectionally. Probably you notice the issue here at low frequency. That is audible. We are able to hear that. But that is omnidirectional. At a high frequency, ultrasound. That is directional, but we cannot hear that. Remember, our goal is to build audible directional sound. So what should we do? Why don't we mix those two kinds of sound signal? Let's multiply them together. So you will notice the audible low frequ frequency sound signal becomes envelope of ultrasound. That is a mixed signal. That is the exact AM channel of your radio. That's pretty interesting. We got our directional mixed signal. But hold on here. We still cannot hear the mixed signal because the mixed signal is still ultrasound. However, if your speaker is loud enough, let's see 140 dB, that will be a totally different scenario. At the beginning, your speaker generated the mixed signal, ultrasound with audible loop. All the energy is uh, at high frequency, is at ultrasound. When the sound propagates, only the envelope propagates to your ears. You can only hear the ultra audible sound. 
and that will also follow the same path or ultrasound. Boom! You get the audible directional sound. And you also learned, in order to build a directional sound, we have to find a very loud ultrasound source. That is 140 dB. How loud is 140 dB? F16 is as loud as 140 dB. That's definitely not a good choice, right? <laughs> what I found here, remember, my goal is to build a directional sound for our laptop. I have to find something really small. What I find here is probably also beyond your imagination. That is a microphone. If you open your cell phone, you will find the electronic devices there. That is a microphone. The microphone is usually covered by a metal lid. Just open it. You will notice a microphone die with a circular diaphragm there. Microphone is the most appropriate sound source for this ultrasound for our laptop. The reason probably you found that is out of our intuition. That's so tiny. Why does it generate so loud? We all are living in an audible sound world. We never hear ultrasound. We shouldn't use the way of thinking audible sound to think about it. Audible ultrasound. A microphone is tiny. That is not able to generate very loud audible sound. But that is able to generate a very loud ultrasound, 140 dB. I'm pretty happy. I built my first prototype. I designed my PCDB board, printed the circuit board. I found many microphone die. I set up the testing in our lab. I put my first prototype on a station. The station is rotationable. And then I use another measurement microphone to measure the sound pressure at one location. And then I rotate, I rotate my station to measure the sound pressure at a different angle. I did 100 times measurement, so I will know the di directivity of my speaker. That works. I can even hear the sound only from one direction. But the first prototype is not perfect. The maximum sound pressure level is only 35 dB. The normal volume of our daily conversation is about 80 dB. So you will hear the sound from one direction from my first prototype, but the sound will be very faint. <laughs> yeah. The reason for that is, uh, you notice that the area of my first prototype is way smaller than what I des designed for the laptop speaker area. So my second prototype is targeting at 80 dB. In order to make my second prototype, I have to use the semiconductor technology to build a speaker on a silicon wafer. So everybody, that is all the story about my dream. I'm not telling you a successful and beautiful story because I'm still working on my second prototype. Hopefully, in the near future, your laptop will have the directional sound because I'm from UT Austin. I believe the slogan of UT Austin, what starts here changes the world. Who comes?